Um, and I was up till about four in the morning casting that with Coddle Guy. Uh, we had some delays. I, I was hopefully I, I was hoping to be done at about three o'clock, so we'd have like a full eight hours of sleep. But unfortunately, that that was not the case. Uh, I I actually just I'm a bit tired currently. So hopefully we get through these uh, these games without any sort of issues, without any lag and no pauses. And hopefully, just hopefully, we'll be good to go. And these two teams, obviously, they actually played up against each other in the upper bracket. And Ninjas in Pajamas lost that series 2-1 to Moscow 5. With very solid play. I think Necroman put in an Invoker game there. Um, and, he, and honestly, he's been, I think, the driving factor for why Moscow 5 have been doing so well. I get he is one of the, obviously, the driving factors. And for them, they have really solid team play. They don't really rely on anybody as, uh, like, a, a solo you know core that you see in the mid lane like you know you rely on like RTZ for example but honestly M5 are in a really good position Ninjas and Pajamas they played a really solid series yesterday against Meepone they 2 owed Meepone Meepone is a team that is on the rise and Ninjas and Pajamas made them look like fools destroyed them even so Five seconds remaining. some exciting stuff here hopefully we'll get through the game without any sort of incident we'll see what happens DAC though man it's unfortunate that I have to be cast in the series because DAC is having some good games right now. All the Chinese teams having a rough time. Newbie 0 and 3, LGD 1 and 2, Vichy's 2 and 1, so they're all right. But even Elon's 2 and 1. But DAC right now seems to be a lot of fun. However, we got the qualifiers for Dota Pit. That's what's going on right now. And IP, they pick up the Slark, Witch Doctor, Ancient Apparition, and the Viper to go their way. One more pick to go as well. They'll need an offlaner for the most part, or a solo safe laner. They already have the Viper to go mid. They have the Slark to be in the lane with the Witch Doctor and Ancient Apparition. They need to grab another hero here. With Slark, though, Eric can do so much work. We've seen it before. He'll take over games, and he'll absolutely just obliterate the, the competition. Moscow 5 going with a predominantly orange and yellow draft. They have the Juggernaut, the, the Brewmaster, the Troll Warlord. Lich is a, the combo breaker there as far as the, as far as the colors go. Surprise that they pick up the Lich. Lich Brewmaster together is pretty solid. If you send Troll Warlord mid, Brewmaster Lich top, it's pretty solid. Then put Juggernaut bottom with another dual lane. A dual lane though against the Slark could be kind of scary. HN Apparition, Wish Dr. Slark, they don't have the lockdown necessarily. You could cask into Pounce, and that's probably good enough. And that'll actually net you a kill because of Chilling Touch and how much damage you'll do. I think that's pretty good, actually. We can get a kill with those heroes. Although, Jug can actually just spin out of the Pounce, I believe, so it might be tough. You'll have to go for the support in that bottom lane. Jug's not going to get farm, I think, from Moscow 5 International. If they've actually did that aggro trail in bottom. And IP have one minute left to reserve time. They, they probably maybe just go for an offlaner here, though, and... Keep everything ev even and normal, so. The draft taking some time. What are they going to do with this last pick? They have to get a Jonas and Fan Hero. Or an 8 Mother if they put 8 Mother in their safe lane or off lane. Hanskin and Seal Kid support duo pretty solid. They go for the Jakiro, the offlane Jakiro. Very solid pick coming out. And then the Shadow Shaman's got five. So maybe they don't go dual lanes. Maybe they go for tri lanes for Moscow five. Yotas and Van Jakiro. Oof, that's uh, scary. <laughs> it's gonna be some some scary uh, some scary damage. The Liquid Fire to push down towers. Ice Path to set up some kills. Uh, they don't have that much lockdown. Their team fight is slacking a little bit until they got the Chikiro, so it's kind of an interesting choice, but I think a Centaur might have been better in this situation, or like any other team fighting hero. <clears throat> Loser is in fact out. That's correct. Winner moves on to face up against Vega. That's correct. Mopak's asking me in Skype. And yeah, that if... If you lose this series, you are done in Dota Pit. You are out of the tournament. So, like, one come all this way just to lose. We'll have to see which team that is. We're jumping into the game. What the hell is this thing? Right. Auspicious Death Ripper. Interesting. Screen. He's heading top. 
They're gonna keep him up here alone, maybe? The the offlane lich? Question mark? I don't think that's very good. Now Slander's up here as well. This is dual lane. Yeah, this is the dual lane. I've seen this so often. The brew lich offlane is actually so strong. But you can just go aggro trial lane and, and punish at least PGG pretty hard. Zixi maybe not. As far as the mid matchup is concerned. Um, I think this is okay for, for 8 Mother. Should be pretty even. 8 Mother will have, I think, a better time because of uh, Neck Vinter Toxin and just his right click in general. Necroman actually, is, his base damage is not that high with the, the melee version or the rage version, excuse me. It doesn't do that much damage. Alright, well, whatever. Bottom lane, what do we got going on here? ZXZ for M5 playing your Juggernaut. We've got on your. Shadow Shaman, PGG, or please go game. We'll have Necromad playing control Warlord. Top off lane, Lich played by Screen. And then, of course, you've got your Brewmaster played by Slander. We have a maybe a fight breaking out. Era. Oh, they're going to wrap around. PGG has to be careful. They're going to go for the chilling touch. They're going to get the cask off. They're going to get the pounce. That's going to be your first blood. She gets the shackles off, but then dies immediately. Era won't get the kill because he gets shackled. But they still get the first blood regardless. And did they get the bounty rune? I believe ZXC got it, so no. In fact, M5 getting both bounties, so that's the trade-off. You miss out on the first blood, but you get the bounty rune. Something to keep in mind. Interesting sentry war place to throw down. Yeah, and screen's just like, yeah, they're running aggro trail and I have to rotate bottom. PGG actually rotates top, but they want to be able to sacrifice. And this might be good enough, whereas, you know, M5 will have the tower um, under their control, or actually have the creep wave under their control because of uh, sacrifice. And I think that's very strong. Meanwhile... ZXC needs to have Blade Fury at all times, uh, otherwise he's just gonna die. If it's on cooldown at any point, he will go down. Jonas and Fan top lane getting shackled up. They don't have the clap, they've already used it. Jonas and Fan in trouble, the shackle duration is done. The body blocks are there, but he has a salve and he'll be fine. So yeah, as far as these lanes are concerned, bottom's gonna be won by NIP, top will probably be won by M5. Um... Mid is actually being won currently by 8 Mother, but it's very close. It's one CS behind for Necroman, so very even game thus far. And again, sacrifice it. In, you know, the creep wave pushes under the tower because of it. And ZXC is starting to get CS. Sacrifice, so good. Ross Blast from the screen. They're going to auto deny at this point. And ZXC, you really can't walk up right now. They pull the creep wave back, too, so. It's just a rough lane. Necroman getting his two points at a Berserker's Rage. He wants his extra Bastration. Move speed is pretty nice. The Bash damage as well. Frost Blast onto Arrow. So yeah, Screen's going to keep spamming this out. He has Sacrifice. He'll just spam out Frost Blast. Arrow will be able to regen using his uh, Tangos. And hopefully they can get him some levels and get to, to that level 6 pretty quickly. PGG gets the Bounty Rune. Bottom lane, it's going to be a regen. That Seal Kid will deny, actually. A Mother is not going to be going for Rune Control at all. Because he doesn't have a bottle. And I don't believe he'll get one. Top lane, Slander is doing a really good job CSing. Eight last hits. And the two last hits going out for Jonas and Fan. So again... It, Jakira not having a great time. Jigger not having a great time. Shackle shot going, or Shackle's just on a shot as a fed here, and he's actually just gonna back away and he'll be fine. He's gonna spam out that liquid fire as much as possible, do as much damage to PGG and Slender as he can. Dual breaths up as well. He'll probably get mm, another point in that. Don't need really Ice Path at this point in time. Slender will take another dual breath and he's hurting a bit, but dual breath er, doesn't really do that much damage anymore. Liquid fire, excuse me. It's not really that great. The ZXC is getting an experience. He's getting a lot more than air is anyway. Don't even think about Eight mother seven and two this patch on both Venomancer and Viper. Yeah, that's pretty good. He's been playing a lot of them, that's uh, as you can clearly see. He's all about the poison coming out. Eight Mother is going to be leading the way here in the mid lane. 16 last hits, very even mid matchup currently. Necromant can snowball on the Troll Warlord. And a lot of teams have been picking this hero up. 
Uh, the gank rotation mid from PGG, they're going to try to find 8 Mother. He has two points of nether corrosive skin, so he has plenty of magic resistance. Then he knows he's getting ganked now. There's going to be a couple of TP rotations. The Shackle's going to come in. Seal Kid's going to pop the cats. It's not going to bounce. The Ether Shock, Voodoo Restoration, and it's going to be the kill for Necromon. Pretty big rotation for PGG. Seal Kid should have used his cast onto uh, PGG, but. I don't think it would have mattered. And with that rotation, Hanskin's going to get caught out as well. M5, they're starting to just go to work. But a screen right now for Hanskin. The trade goes in. But ZXC is fine. He'll pop up his magic stick. He doesn't have the, the heal, the healing ward yet. So Air is kind of looking at him, eyeing him, and saying, We can get this kill here. Double damage. Oh, Seal Kid picks up a DD. That's frightening. Blade Fury Pounce, uh, and Air just, he needs regen. Voodoo Restoration might come through, but... So far, this game is, I think, an M5 control. Jokes are getting some CS top lane. They do give some CS up to uh, Jakira as well. It's going to be kind of even so far. I mean, the kills have been very even. The supports are the ones that go down. So, 8 Mother going down is a pretty big deal. Necromant should be about almost a, a half a level ahead of him now. Frost Blast at a Seal Kid. Buddha Restoration going. They give him a tree as well. He has a sick charge. He's going to eat a tree and... Air is just having a rough time here. He's in trouble. Pounce is going to go, but they're baiting in ZXC. He has Blade Fury. He's going to pop it off. They need a couple more at clicks and will fall. Seal Kid doing a lot of damage there. The Blade Fear away, and ZXC actually has to go home. No meta uses uh, healing wards, so pretty nice rotation there. Eight Mother mid. They're going to TP. Shackles are going to go, and, well, PGG is like, I'm actually dead. Viper Strike is going to fly. There's going to be the bounces between the cast. Seal Kid taking a lot of damage. Voodoo Restoration. PGG goes down. The Aether Shot goes off, but that's a nice rotation coming out from Seal Kid there. And he. Who gets the kill? Viper? All right. Facebook somehow completed up for the Juggernaut, despite not getting any CS at all. Well, 14 losses, this is not bad, but... We're gonna have a slow start to this game, honestly. Era is just living dangerously. He's gonna pounce away. Blade Fury is gonna go. Era is gonna take a bit of that damage. And he's gonna fall. Era being just a bit too far up. Meanwhile, top lane, you know, this gonna go down. The split. Hey, Mother, it TP'd in, but... Brewmaster is going to town, and all of a sudden, NIP are going to lose two, maybe even three heroes here. Ether Shot goes. They need Clap, but he's going to bottle up, and he might have enough mana pretty soon. They do get the kill on a PGG. Clap goes. Eight Mother getting slowed up, and Slander trying to get this kill. The Whirling Axe is from the backside. Actually, sniped the kill for the Troll Warlord. And then it's 5 4 now, and M5 is starting to get into it. They're getting the, the CS, they're getting the kills. The Brewmaster split goes. He's getting close to his Blink Dagger. Era rotates back down bottom. He really needed six when he was fighting up against the jug. But these frost plots have been so good, and the screen is just harassing so much. How many slashes available? He does have pounce. Cask's got to go through. ZXC just running at Seal Kid. How many slashes got to go? And Era gets caught out, and ZXC gets the kill. And now he's chasing down Seal Kid. He will not go for the kill. Battle Trance goes. Slander gets a kill. Top lane on Hotskin. M5 is starting to just trounce NIP. ZXC getting low. They do get the kill. Screen can't get Seal Kittens. A two for one trade as Eight Mother TP's in. Ugh. Weird trades happening across the map. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Air dying twice in a row, though, despite having a huge start. Can't even get to level six. His farm is stagnating. It's not good right now Dyer's for an IP. M5 have a 2,000 net worth lead, a 3,000 experience lead. And this first game is going in their favor. It's looking a lot like the last series we saw between these two teams. Six HP. They needed literally a gust of wind to kill him. And they couldn't find it. Top lane. Slander pushing the wave out. Splits available. Oh, he's so close to his blink dagger. Mid lane, what's going on here? Bounce away from Hera. I couldn't actually use the mini map there for whatever reason. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, uh. 
dueling mid actually is what it has become now. Necromant and Fizz Boots probably going to get some of the Diamond Eater as quickly as possible into maybe like S and Y. That seems to be the build. Blink Dagger might be available. BKB. There's a lot of options for Troll. They place down the Serpent Wards mid lane. They want the Steel Wind Tower, and it might be the first tower of the game. Battle Trance goes. TP's coming in now. It's going to be Eight Mother returning to lane. Serpent Wards. Uh, they're going to kill this tower. Nice and eye from Air, though. Now they're going to get the Viper Strike. Necromant going to try to TP. Cask already went. He's going to TP out. He's going to make it. He'll survive. Very good deny from Era though. That's difficult to do. Serpent Wars doing some damage to Eight Mother, and they have to be careful. Clap top lane. Slander's alone. He has enough money for his blink dagger. He might have to buy it. He wants to get to the side shot, but oh uh, yeah, he buys his blink. He's gonna split, and actually, that might save his life. Uh, he's gonna cyclone up onto Seal Kid. I don't know if he should continue to go here. In fact, he's just gonna leave. He needs to get out with this Earth Panda. So splits down, he has to use it to survive. That's probably fine. Another TP coming up. Actually, Slanders is gonna be like, I'm gonna give you my bottle. You're gonna get the bottle refreshed. You're gonna give it back to Slander. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. He'll regen up, no problem. And his blink dagger's now done, so no split yet, but with Blink Clap coming in, this could be dangerous. Double damage for Necromon as well. ZXC is. Starting to get some semblance of farm. He's up to 39 CS. And M5 are looking solid. Eight Mother is rotated in. Top lane TP's coming as well. PGG looking for Shackle. Blink clap. Jonas and Fan. Goodbye, buddy. Ice Vortex goes. That's nothing. ZXU is still looking for a kill. Hans is going to TP back home, actually. And this is going to be another tier one tower, maybe going the way of M5. And they get a kill bottom. Seal Kid goes to work with his Witch Doctor ult. Gets a double kill, actually. Look at it go, indeed. And that's both Troll and Screen falling as they were trying to pressure the Seer 1 tower. tower is under attack. PGG has some rewards, but they need to clear the crew paid first. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Top tower. And there's the Serpent Wards. Another glyph goes. Tier 1 tower is going to spill. Going to fall over the goddamn attack. place. There it goes. PGG getting the kill on the tower with the Serpent Wards. Bottom lane, though. Air is pressuring it. Liquid Fire with Yonis and Van is a decent amount of damage. Midas for Arrow at 11 and a half minutes. A little bit delayed. He doesn't have the most CS to world TP coming in. Will they complete it? Cancel coming out from Troll Warlord. There's the Midas done for Arrow. It's going to fly out now. But, I mean, they're getting pushed in. M5 have this advantage. It's a, a 2,000 net worth advantage. It's been sticking there for the last couple of minutes. Slander is a big part of the reason why M5 are doing so well. But look at the aggression. And, and up here, gonna, oh, top lane. ZXZ, Omni slash goes. Blade Fury, the TP out. Eight mothers like, I can't get that kill. Really nicely done for the Juggernaut with the Omni slash. Getting the kill that was level one Omni. And, well, the Mask Menace comes out with that kill as well. He'll TP away. ZXZ running back down mid. Bottom lane, Necromancer here. He's gonna push out this wave. You know, fan as well. Pops up the Macro Pyre. He's just gonna push this wave out. Smoke of Deceit Gank into their own jungle. They'll probably find Seal Kid. That might be the only one. Oh, they don't know where he is. Screen's gonna look and they, they actually ping him out. They know that he's here. BGG going around the backside. Yonis and Fan in trouble. Seal Kid gonna get caught as well. Shaq was going through. Yonis and Fan getting clapped on. They're gonna probably get both of these kills. Ooh, the cast going in. They do get Yonis and Fan. And Seal Kid is gonna run away. Slander has a point clap in a couple of seconds. Ether Shaq goes. And they get the two kills. They get both of them. And now they'll try to push into the tier, uh, tier one tower. They have actually certain ones again in five seconds. They also have Blink Clap uh, Ultimate coming up from Slander, so. They'll try to defend. Air is rotating bottom. Regening up Shadow Dance. Eight Mothers here as well. Serpent Ward's down. Air coming in for the backside. Ooh, I think they see him. They have an Observer Ward there. Slender's about to Blink Clap him. And yeah, Shadow Dance goes. PGG gets caught out. They'll probably lose him and all the Super Wards as well. Without ZXC, they're not really willing to push you to the base. He's too busy farming up on this uh, Juggernaut. Necroman. Is it an S and Y? Is it a BKB? It's an S and Y for Necroman. 
this seems to be the item that everyone goes for on Jug or Troll, excuse me. Get pretty tanky, stay alive. Oh, CXC, he's on a mission. You might find Hanskin here. Oh, 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 there he sees him. Ice Blast goes, and well, they get the kill anyway. Necroman actually also took the Ice Blast in the face, but they're both fine. They get the kill. Healing Ward goes out. They ping on Necromon. Necromon's like, I actually just need to TP in. I don't have any mana. I, I need to leave. Yule Scepter up now, coming up for the Jakiro. Seal Kid bottom lane, farming up the jungle. And the tower is getting obliterated. M5. You would have given him a shot here. I don't know if anyone would say that, you know, they would have the lead at, you know, 14 minutes into the game. Ice Blast. Omni Slash, he avoids it. The Shadow Dance goes. Actually, just baiting it in and. Viper Strike pops the Mask of Madness and gets Blade Fury on as well. Blink Clap Split goes. They might turn this Ape Mother into trouble. Air has to back away. Cast flying through. That'll be just done with support. They need to leave. Lots of Ultimates Force and NIP are completely fine with this. Well, this is true. Wind Panda and the Earth Panda. Earth Panda in some trouble, actually. Panda in general. Dark Pack's gonna go Slander. Can't get his Blink off. Pounce goes through. There's the cast. Slander is gonna fall. The only hero that falls in that engagement is going to be the Brewmaster. Eight Mother picks up his back because of it. And good turnaround fight coming out from NIP. And Arrow with this Rydus might be able to get things done here. He has the most net worth in the game. Eight Brothers not too far behind. They really want this tower. Battle Trance went another set of Serpent Wards, and they just get cleaned up by Eight Mother. Regeneration. Level 1 wards are not necessarily useless, but they're just not that good in comparison to the level 2 wards. The damage really just isn't there. 60 attack damage to 45 is a pretty significant difference. They. They also don't have anything like a Jakiro to pop up Liquid Fire and to keep the AoE damage over time going. They just don't have the, the tower presence, I mean, unless they have Battle Trance, but... NIP are doing a very good job of coming to these fights and defending their towers and making sure they stay alive. Tier 1 tower, top lane, Shade Frost goes on Yonis Fan, Ice Blast goes on a Necroman, but the, there's the Whirling Axes and Yonis Fan's gonna get chased down. Ice Path, he's still alive, he has his Yule Scepter, and he's so speedy now, he's gonna get away. Hanskin's gonna chase after screen. And really good on NMP to stay alive there yet again. Hanskin's just gonna walk out. No TP scroll for well, actually just gets the man and now Slander could go for a clap, but he's gonna get away. Yule Scepter on his ZXC could not get the kill there, was chasing after with I think his mom. And couldn't find anything. I think the mom got dispelled with the Yule Scepter. Radiance Middle Tower is under And five will head up to the top lane. Necromon ZXC leading the way. Slark gets the kill mid as air pops the shadow dance off under PGG. He gets caught out. He goes down. Ice Blast gonna connect it again. The death ward coming out. Slander has to pop his ultimate. But Eight Mother going into the backside looking for Necromon and the cask still bounce. Radiance Crew falls as Air gets the kill on the backside. They're gonna use up Necromon. He's in some trouble. Dual breath. Now the Omni Slash goes, obliterates one, but the Ice Cap out of two. Necromon and Zixi both in trouble. Air are trying to get away. No shadow dance. They clap him down. They just destroy him. Big kill coming out. Air not going down there could have been big, but he actually does fall. Eight Mother leading the charge on the screen. He has a TP scroll. He might just hide and just try to TP out. Looks like that's going to be exactly what he does. Cold feet going, but not going to proc. Lady Fury TP from ZXC. They get out. They lose Necromon, but that's pretty much it. All right. We are back down to even in net worth. Moscow 5 doing their damnedest, but all of a sudden, NIP, they're also in a really good position. They gotta get Slark some more farm. Midas maybe into a Shadow Blade. We'll see. S and Y. Not a bad choice there. The Onus and Fan pops the Macro Pyre. Slander's here with the clap. They don't have detection. Eight Mother's gonna TP away. They're gonna try to go on Yonis and Fan instead. Ice Blast going. Yul Scepter. Chain Frost. Yonis and Fan gets blown up. Hanskin getting chased down as well. Ice Blast going towards the mid lane. They get the kill on BGG. But Hanskin's not gonna be able to TP out. Two for one trade. They already taken that tower. I'm not sure why I put the serpent woods down. I think he was trying to go for a kill and he just couldn't find it. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Alright, Eric, what are you going for, buddy? You have 2300 gold. Let's buy some. Yeah, get to the blink dagger. Eric is ready to go. It's time to fight, boys. Let's get going. He needs to be wary of his shadow dance issues, though. You saw what happened top lane. Can't let that happen again. And IP looking like 8 Mother might get his Agatum Scepter next. Pretty solid choice, standard choice. No surprise if they do pick it up there, but... ZXZ trying to stay right with him. He has his Yasha SNY probably going to be a next item. No real silence, so it looks like SNY seems to be a good choice. Med style's rarely been built anymore, even with silences of game. SNY seems to be the, the go-to option. And he's going to pick up the Ogre Club, so there it is. The SNY is very close to being done. Troll should have his pretty soon. In fact, his Yasha now done. He has to get the recipe off of the, his stash and just send it to him using the courier. But the courier is zipped for 34 seconds, so until the courier respawns, he either has to go back home or wait. Blink. Pounce. Goodbye. Hex comes. The Blink Dagger era in trouble, but the Yule Scepter goes in. Death Ward going as well. Ice Path comes out, and PGG gets blown up. ZXZ looking to jump in. Slander clapping. ZXZ has Omni Slash right now. Yonis and Fan in trouble. Mech's going to go through. They have the Eight Mother up in the air. Yonis and Fan in trouble. Ice Path goes, and actually ZXZ goes right to the creep. Viper Strike going in. I to Necroman. Eight Mother still in trouble. He already used his mech. He's going to turn his attention, but now they come in with Era. But Era is getting right click bashed up. He's dead. No Shadow Dance, not the best fight coming out from Era. Eight Mother maybe needs to leave. Other side of things, Slander gets killed. A Yoda's a fan. He went deep. Buyback from Yoda's a fan. Necroman in some trouble. Ice Blast! It's going to snipe him, and Eight Mother will help get the kill. Slander getting chased down. He had already tried to TP. Macropar is going to go. The big buyback from NIP. Slander still alive for the time being. Yule Scepter is going to go. Ice Path. Slander is going to fall. It looks like the right click is there. They get the kill. And in the end, it trades a bit in favor of an IP. They lose Era again, though. That's the big issue. But they still get a 1,200 gold exchange out of that. The only hero they don't pick up is ZXC. Era needs some survivability, and Blink Tiger is currently not the item to do it. But look at the farm that NIP get. Support gets about 500 gold. He gets a point booster. Um, Ancient Apparition is still poor as all hell. Ice Path coming in. That'll be on to ZXC. Ice Blast is going to go through. and They don't have a way to stop TPing, unfortunately. A couple of SNYs done. Era could use Basher. Yeah, two SNYs done. One for the Juggernaut, one for the Troll. So it was already difficult to kill the Juggernaut to begin with. It's going to be even harder. Troll has been dying a lot recently, but... SMY is going to prevent that for the most part, even with the sign she had before, and SMY is just going to be a bit better. It's the, the real issue that we've seen in a lot of these fights is that it's just really difficult for Aero to stand up in, in these engagements. He gets blown up so goddamn fast. That's without Omni Slash also. A lot of that is just through sheer right click alone. But Aero is no slouch and no stranger to Slark. He knows what he has to do. They'll probably build him to Scotty at some point. He's over Venom, and he's had that since the beginning of the game. I don't think he goes for it next, but... Mid lane split. Eight Mother getting caught out. ZXC coming in with the right click. Viper Strike goes. Yule Scepter as well, but he is in trouble. Ice Path flying through. Eight Mother already uses his mech. The Chain Frost going to bounce in, and Era is in trouble. Pops the Shadow Dance. Screen's going to go down to Hans and Shatter. And the Brewmaster split. It's a one-for-one -one exchange. Mid lane, Yule Scepter, Necromon getting caught out. Pounce goes through. There's going to be the Whirling Axes. They have the mischance of the Death Ward. Era's going to man up. They get the kill. But now the Shackle's going into PGG from Zero. On the Silk from PGG. Pounce away. ZXZ already uses Omni Slash. Blink away from Era. They are really chasing him down. Era should be able to get away with the Pounce. Actually turns around. And they will not dive further. Finally, they get the kill on Silk. Slander gets a double kill. So Slander going Axe yet again, by the way. God, this is just a manly ass game. Who knows who's gonna win, honestly, with all the fighting happening. Era has to use his Midas. Hans can top lane. It's just he's gonna keep throwing Ice Blast mid. Might catch Slander. If they catch Slander, you might see Era go here. And that's exactly what they're gonna do. Pounce goes. He's gonna try to TP away. He is gonna make it out in time. Hanskin could have came in and tried to cold feet. Oh, the Shatter goes, though. He dies in the well. I thought for sure he was gonna live. 
The Ice Blast too good. Air doing enough damage beforehand. Very strong combination. They don't need any sun. They're happy with what they've got. Oh, screen going for that mech though. TP stop lane for whatever reason. Maybe they try to smoke up here. Seal Kid getting somewhat close to a death ward. Agadim Scepter, I should say. Era has 2100 gold. If he's going for a Scotty, he'll buy his first Sylvan Orb pretty soon. If he's going for anything else, it might be a while before we see that item actually picked up. But. Should have our first indication of it pretty soon. Yeah, Agadim's for Viper has been very slow. Has one component. Uh, actually, has the other on the career, so he's not that far away. Is PGG dead? Oh, good blank. Ice Blast. Still could show himself a little bit too early. Eric, did you buy anything yet, buddy? Oh, it is that ultimate orb. He's going right for the Scotty. Couple of components away. Is the XC getting caught out? Has some blade fear, but there's the clap coming in. The split as well. Is the XC TPing away? He can cancel this and he will, actually. It's maybe not the fight they're looking for. Omni Slash going in and it bounces between a creep. Ape Mother in some trouble. The Hex comes out as well and he falls. Now Unison Fan actually in trouble as well. Ice Path TP coming out and he is not going to make it away. Not a good fight for NIP. Big engagement for M5. Ice Blast is going to come in. Will he? Jump on this? PGG is like food. It's fodder for air, honestly. Big fodder, but they're not going to go for it. Necroman's walking into the jungle. Speedy. Oh, Steel Kid, look out, buddy. And we now have a, a split Agadim Scepter for the Brewmaster. ZXC's getting farmed. Mask Man is almost 3k gold in the bank. Battle Trance goes in. The combination of Juggernaut and Troll Warlord seems to be paying dividends. Slander has been doing some work as well. They're going to keep TP back to the tier 2 tower down bottom so that Necroman can farm up and actually just push this wave out. And we got ourselves a game, but M5, they're looking so good right now. And NIP, Era has had some big mistakes, and actually just their team play in general has not been really looking that good. Here's gonna go back towards uh, the jungle. He'll farm up. He wants to get to that second ultimate orb. And after that, he'll have his Scotty pretty much right after. Maybe with a the Scotty, they can actually turn these fights around, but. It's feeling like anytime there's an Omni Slash and uh, ult for coming out from the Brewmaster, they're in a pretty good position. The thing is, if you go Ghost Scepter up against Slander, you're going to take a lot of damage now coming out from the clap from M5 since Slander Brewmaster split. That seems to be very dangerous. There's a lot of magic damage coming out just from M5 alone, so if they get Ghost Scepters, they might die. Necroman picking up a BKB next with a solid purchase. And it looks like NIP aren't really concerned about Ghost Scepters at this point. They just want to finish their Ags. So difficult. Troll. Serpent Wards down bottom. That'll take down the tower. Nicely played. They're going to TP mid. Air getting caught out. Shadow Dance is popped. Meanwhile, the split eight mother is going to be the focus target now. Mech is still available. He'll pop it off a bit early. Cast bouncing through. Now we have PGG jumping it with the Shackle. There's no cast coming out from Seal Kid. Maledict going. That's not going to do much. Death Ward gets canceled immediately. Nice PGG Hex coming through. And 8 Mother is just trying his damnedest. Gets the Viper Strike off. Zixi walking up with to the high ground. And now Seal Kid's going to caught as well. He'll buy his Ogre Club. He'll buy his Sentry Ward. He'll buy a TP scroll. Loses literally no money there. But Zixi gets the Aghanim Scepter. Not going for some extra right click. Even though you get more damage. Just if you get some sheer right click items alone. He goes for the Axe. He wants more jumps. He has level 3 ultimate now. Ice Blast is going to go through mid. It's going to hit pretty much uh, one person, actually. Everyone else avoids it. Tier 2 Tower now in trouble. Top lane getting split pushed by Yonis and Fan. They'll be taken care of by PGG. Mid lane, there might be some fighting happening soon, but they can't engage. Era is just... He's not farmed enough. They have the ultimate orb. He's getting close to the Scotty, but they are not there yet. Instead, now M5 head over to the Roche Pit. Maybe... No, they're going to head bottom instead. They're going to try to get the tier 2 tower. The last tier 2 tower on the map coming here for NIP. And M5 are pretty close to securing this game 1 victory. They have a huge lead now. Yeah, 5,000 hours. Not huge, but something. 
And 5,000 experience lead as well. M5 in a really good spot. If you're an IP, you really have to hope Eric can just carry this game for you. It's going to be difficult, though. M5 have been amazing this tournament. With the exception of their loss to Vega, they have played outstanding Dota. And this game is no exception. BKB now done for the Troll Warlord. Nick done for screen a bit late. He should have had that a bit earlier. But they're going to head bottom. They're going to follow the creep wave. They need Slander to come in. He'll have his split up in 13 seconds. Pretty short cooldown at max level. Uh oh, Yule Scepter's going to go. Yodas and Fan. Blade Fury should pop off with Zixi and it will. They're going to jump in. Era going to screen. He has his mech. He's going to pop it. Era has Shadow Dance. He uses it now wisely. Zixi's still chasing after him. Zixi's like, I'm going to Omni Slash you as soon as I see you. The Pounce not saving his life. Era is done. Two down. Ice Path. Eight Mother gets caught out as well. This is M5's game and NIP getting trust upon. The Swedish squad, they're in trouble. The Cyclone goes up from the Storm Panda. They're chasing down Yodas and Fan. There's going to be the Whirling Axes. Yule Scepter will save his life for the time being, but there's the Blade Fury. Whirling Axes actually misses. High ground goes. Ice Path goes. Zixi caught, but Yoda's fan stun up the right click and the Frost Bust securing the kill. Four down all day. M5's, M5 lose literally nothing. They will take this tier 2 tower and they might go high ground here, or they will take Roshan, one of the two. What a fight coming out from M5 and ZXC. They are looking like a team on a roll. Six thousand eight hundred experience game from M5. It's up to twelve thousand now. They're going to get a set of racks, and it's still climbing. The network's going to go even higher. They'll TP back mid with Necromon. He'll defend the tier two tower. The beginning of the end for NIP. M5. They are rolling there. This is the. This is how you need to play this lineup. You have to snowball and. With Screen on the Lich and with PGG on the Shadow Shaman, they're getting so much done and even more so than anything else. Slander on the Brewmaster has been probably MVP performance-esque in this game. They're not done yet, but this game is clearly in their hands, in their favor. Oh, Battle Trance. ZXG just goes to work on this Roshan. And they're going to get the Aegis as well. And they're going to head mid. It's time to go for another set of racks. These fights are just not going well for NIP, and they have to get back behind to... Oh, Scotty now down for the Slark. It's one good item, but... 0.27 seconds per attack. Pretty impressive. He's, he's pretty speedy, to say the least. Split going in. They don't need that BKB. He just goes right up the split. He's got clap as well. He's going to use it. Yonis and Fan actually is just going to die to slander. It looks like it's fourth forward. Yules is up. Death Ward going in. Seal Kid actually putting up a nice Death Ward here. Blade Fury is going to go. Seal Kid getting right click down. There's X finally going. The Aegis is actually expended now. Brewmaster ult. Air going to work. The Whirling Axe is going to go. Omni Slash going through. Bouncing between all these heroes. Battle Trance not going. Yonis and Fan is going to fall. Now the Ice Blast, the uh, Chain Frost bouncing through, the Raxes have been destroyed. Screen getting shackled up, now an Ekraman jumping in, BKB, Trump Battle Trade is going to go, ZXC right clicking him down, he just bought the Scotty, that is going to be game for NIP. M5, again with a solid performance, 8 Mother getting hexed up now, right click from Necroman, 3 dead, 4 dead even, the only survival is Seal Kid. Screen will buy back into the game and they're going to try to finish this game, GG called from Hanskin, M5! Nobody would have given them a chance in this series. Then they are 1-0 currently in this series against NIP. One more game and they will secure their spot to Dota Pit Season 3. And we'll see what happens in the next game. What a game coming out from this squad. Moscow 5 looking TI worthy at this point. And I think if